Okay, hey, collective. So this is going to be a collective reading. Collective, I'm getting like your karmic exes, friends, are like considering no longer being friends with this individual. I'm getting whoever this ex of yours is, this ex is going to their friends. This ex could be going to your family members or something like that and crying to these individuals about how bad this individual did you. But like, Somebody is creeped out by another person's ability to like cry on demand. It's like this individual will fake cry about how they love you and want you back and then peek up to see if the individual they're crying to is falling for it. That's why this person's friends or maybe this could even be family members of yours that don't want you with this person because they're realizing how unstable this individual is. Like somebody is going to your friends or your family members or something like that and fake crying about you. And this is a karmic ex of yours. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is somebody that's trying to like manifest you back in or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to be with you or that's in some lustful energy in regards to you. But you don't want to be with this person. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. This is somebody. Yeah, it could be this King of Cups energy. Yep. This person is stressed out about you. Yep. Damn. And like somebody wants to be with you because they see that you done went out and like you're just living your life. But maybe you started your own business and this individual left you out in the cold when this person thought you weren't going to be anything. And now this King of Cups is trying to come back around to you. It's like, wow, yeah, this King of Cups is trying to manifest you back in. That's what I'm getting here. But you don't want to deal with this King of Cups, whoever this individual is. You could be somebody that's extremely intuitive. You could also be on a platform here as well. This person is obsessively watching you here as well. Yeah, feeling like a victim. That's what I'm getting, yeah, because you're not dealing with them. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you don't want to be with this person. So somebody from your past is watching you and feeling like a victim because you don't want to be with this individual here. This person also tried to do something to you behind your back here and thought you weren't going to know about it here as well. Yep. This King of Wands, King of Cups energy, whoever this individual is, this person wants to be with you, but you don't want to be with this person. You are over this person. You have moved on with your life. Like I said, you could be somebody that's very intuitive here and you keep picking up on this person's energy and it's getting on your nerves because you have been moved on with your life. This person is just like watching you obsessively and reaching out to anybody that will listen and fake crying to these individuals about you. You know what I'm getting? It's like whenever you were in a relationship with this person, this person would do something wrong. This person would fake cry, act like they were sorry, then be peeking up to see if you're falling for it. Well, this individual is doing the same thing to either your friends, your co-workers, family members that you and this individual know. This man can even be trying to reach out to your family members or something like that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So this individual is going to your family members and crying, talking about, you know, such and such won't talk to me. Such and such doesn't want anything to do with me. She's being mean. I know I did her wrong, but she won't even hear me out. You know, X, Y, Z. Somebody is accusing you of being a queen of swords and you are queen of swords to this person. You don't want to hear it. You don't fall for that fake crime BS. You could care less. And there are other people that start to realize that your ex is like, I'm telling you, your ex is going to them and fake crying, talking about how mean you are. Yeah, this masculine energy here, whoever this man is, he was also in some lustful energy in regards to you. And I got that energy earlier, like he was in some lustful energy. He would try to like pressure you to do things you don't want to do. And you could be somebody like, you don't like being pressured to do things you don't want to do. Nobody likes to be pressured to do things they don't want to do. And this man would do that because he was like in some lustful energy, just impulsive, couldn't control his urges, just ill. It's giving me gluttonous energy. So like you stop dealing with this man. That's what I'm getting. You broke up with this man, moved on with your life. Yeah, very immature, very immature. It's like whoever this individual is, this masculine energy you were dealing with, he was 
immature like he would go into this whining crying type of energy like when he didn't get his way he that's what this man would do and like so you broke up with him it's like if you didn't want to do certain things in a relationship this man would relentlessly try to pressure you to the point that you could have even like lashed out and that's when you knew that you needed to break up with this man. It's like he was bringing out a side of you that you didn't like. So you broke up with him. Instead of this man taking accountability, he proceeded to go and cry to everybody about you being mean. You're so mean to him. You're so mean to this man. When this man couldn't even control his damn urges. Like, come on now. This is giving me low-key predator type of energy. So whoever the hell this man is, yep, he's being forced to release your energy and walk away. It is what it is. Nobody's falling for it. Nobody's falling for this man crying and trying to put on the waterworks when he did you horribly in a relationship. You know what I'm also getting? I'm going to end this reading there. Yeah, you are an empath. You are a good person. And people realize that you're a good person. But this man is going around telling people that like, you were cold and detached. You were not loving. You were not compassionate towards him. But this man was in some lustful energy. And it was a turn off. It was like you could not tell this man no. You could not tell this man no or something. Or he would have a whole bitch fit. Which could have turned you off and made you even more unattracted to this man. This is giving me like... This is not necessarily begging... This is like when somebody says no, no is no. You don't go into begging and crying. At some point, you need to know your worth and know your value. So I'm really getting like, this is why you, you're not like, you used to be this queen of cups to this man. Now you're this queen of swords and you don't care. You do not care. Let this man go lie and cry to whoever they're lying and crying to. Like I said, this person could have went to either a friend of yours, a co-worker of yours, even a family member of yours. And these individuals are starting to see this man for who he is, which is a immature, karmic, masculine who cannot control his urges. That's it. He has no self-discipline. He's very impulsive. Whoever this man is. And when he doesn't get his way, he cries like a little... He goes and cries. And then tells people how horrible of a person you are. And it's so much more. It's so much more. But you decided to just move on with your life. You didn't go try to do tit for tat. You didn't go try to reach out to this individual's friends and family members to tell people how horrible this person did you. You moved on with your life. But that's the opposite of what this person did. This person is hanging on to you. And somebody, I'm really getting like somebody's going to witness. It's like this individual is reaching out and talking to somebody about you, but fake crying. And this individual is going to like peek up in between crying. And it's going to scare the crap out of whoever this person is doing this to. And they're going to realize that somebody that you were dating here in the past could be possibly a sociopath or something like that. This is a grown ass man that's fake crying to somebody about you and it's creepy. And in that instant, this individual here, whoever this person is that your ex then went crying to realize how unstable this individual is and exactly why you broke up with this individual. When they see this man fake cry like this, it's gonna scare this person. The only people that fake cry like this are children and if it's an adult, it's probably somebody you need to be far the hell away from. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, we have ground yourself. It's going to, I'm telling you, like, somebody is going to be shocked. Somebody is going to be shocked to see something happen. I'm telling you. It's like this person is going to be crying to somebody about you. And then just in the, like that instant, this individual is going like, Stop crying and be a man. I'm telling you, just like, yep, we have get up and get moving. Didn't I say somebody's going to decide like, hey, no, I don't want no. <laughs> somebody's going to stop dealing with this person. It could be this person's friend. This could be a family member of yours. Hell, this could even be a family member of theirs. It's somebody here that this individual goes to and does this fake crying thing too. And yeah, go deeper. Somebody is going to get far the hell away 
from this karmic ex of yours, this karmic masculine. After this individual went around to people and tried to lie on you, crying, it's like, wow, okay. I'm getting not only is this individual going to be fake crying to this person about you, but when this person catches this individual fake crying and peeking up, this individual that's fake crying is going to also be smirking. So somebody is not only fake crying, it's like this individual is smirking and looking up. And the person they did that to caught it. Caught them when they did it. And it's like your ex is getting some thrill out of lying to people about you. And your ex is smirking and fake crying at the same time. If this is somebody you broke up with, I'm telling you that's a blessing because I'm like, this person is not stable. This person is not stable. Um, this could even be like, uh, you know, a family member of yours, a family member of theirs or something like that. But somebody's going to realize that another person is not stable. That's what I'm getting here. And like, it's a reason for you being cold and detached towards this person. It's a valid reason. And somebody is about to realize that. That's what I'm getting. It's a valid reason for you not wanting to be with this person. It's a valid reason for you being what this man is describing as you being a mean person. You're not. You're mean to him. You don't want nothing to do with him. Yeah, but I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you. But somebody is about to realize exactly what was going on here or exactly why you broke up with this individual. But I'm going to end it there.